Salutations gang and welcome to a new Revenge Creature Reviews video. I'm your old power Revenge Creature and today, tonight, with it being New Year's Eve, I thought I'd go ahead and do, uh, uh, well I wanted to do an end of the year video. I still might squeak that out, it's early yet. Uh, but I just wanted to show off this cabinet, uh, one of my new archive uh, cabinets. Uh, as you may or may not know, I have moved. I've moved in with the love of my life, Rachel, and her son, Jack. Um, um, so now we've got that uh, heavy household going on. But uh, the archive continues to grow, so let's take a look at what we got here. Um, did acquire this uh, tactical battle platform this year um, with the box, so that's pretty cool. Um, and it's kind of uh, manned by a few good men. We've got some pots back there um, that are kind of hidden from view, but this is just a temporary place for the air sea base. Um, let's see, we come on down here, there's a Wonder Woman glass that I got for Rachel. This is some kind of thing that has to do with like the air, keeping the air wet or something, I don't know. Um, of course a vintage Death Star playset um, with uh, mostly all modern figures except for that's an older Power of the Force figure of Leia. And yes, I realize I need to get another Leia besides the uh, Hut Slayer version, but I do have uh, a Jin Erso, and then of course there's old, good old Ray yourself, right? And then this cool battle droid, the um, destroyer droid. I always loved that design. Uh, so then let's go ahead and to the first shelf. Uh, we have a vintage Toys R Us uh, truck. Uh, that's by Ertl. Um, pretty cool. Let's go in here a little bit. See if we can't. There's Jeffrey and Junior and Baby G and Gigi. And up here on top of the trailer, we've got uh, the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. And then we have a little Micro Machines uh, Joker van from the 89 movie. It's probably kind of dark in there. And there's a little... Kawaii Megatron, a little wind-up Megatron. Uh, pull out here a little further, and this is a, a skin bracer by Menon, Cologne Decanter. But uh, this is not the one from my childhood home, but it's the exact same thing. Uh, my dad uh, worked in a coal mine, uh, ran a giant steam shovel, or, well, I don't guess it was steam. I'm not sure what it was, but it was a giant thing that, like, dug coal out of the ground anyway he had a hard hat and we just thought that was cute so we got it for him one christmas and then it just became a statue in the house um now this little tigger squeak toy here this is vintage this is uh from the early 70s this is from my youth as a little boy little baby boy bouncing around uh these two awesome figures i've got acquired this year uh we have vincent from the black hole and tweaky of course from the uh, gil gerard buck rogers series um both of these, uh, I was just thrilled to get. Um, of course, I had both of these as a kid. Neither one of these are the ones that I had as a boy. But uh, it's nice to have these guys uh, uh, at least back in the collection. Now, Tweaky, unfortunately, is in this small case because his rubber band is pretty much history. And the screw is hidden behind the sticker. So I'm not getting into all that to repair him. So hopefully he'll just stay in there like that forever. Uh, backing up a little bit further here on this top shelf, we have some die-cast cars. This uh, Hardy set, uh, missing the trailer. There was a red trailer that this uh, little race car went on. Um, and uh, this was available if you got the ham and cheese sandwich, I think. And I can't remember if they were all together or you got the truck with the trailer and then the car was separate, something like that. Um, Daryl Waltrip's Mountain Dew car. My dad loved. Daryl Waltrip was his favorite racer. Uh, and I had this. And then... I had, we had this too. Now, I'm not sure if that was a Daryl Waltrip car or not, this Gatorade, uh, if it'll focus. You know, doggone it, I hate what I hate about uh, using the phone sometimes. Just there we go. Um, but I'm not sure who drove that car, but I did have that die cast as well as a kid. So, Okay, let's uh, focus a little bit more here. And going back, well, let's go ahead and skip over and we'll go to the back here. We've got three packs of cuties which were basically the same thing as the muscle figures, but they were just uh, like aerobic girls and weightlifters, and there's a newscaster and stuff in there. Some pretty interesting stuff. Um, I got all three of those packs uh, for Rachel, um, and one of I said one day I would open one of them since we had three, but still haven't got around to it yet. 
Um, here is a major, I mean, just a major score for me this year. These three wheeled warriors. I'm a really big fan of this franchise of toys. Um, absolutely love the bad guys. This is KO Cruiser and Terror Tank. Um, and uh, this is uh, Spike Trike. He's one of the good guys. If you happen to watch this video and you have a complete Gun Grinner or Saw Boss and you'd like to trade for this complete Spike Trike, uh, hit me up in the comments. Um, then pulling forward a little bit more. Coughing, yes, that's a Pokemon figure, but um, that's a cool... I just like that guy for some reason. I just like his dopey expression and, you know, um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Just a cool little dude. Uh, then we've got some more Hot Wheels. Uh, rather, these aren't really Hot Wheels. I forget who makes these, but these are from the Dukes of Hazard. Now, a boss hog had a tragedy and this big piece of paint just chipped right off, but he still has his little horns on there, so that's cool. And then General Lee and it's uh, Daisy's Jeep. And this is just a matchbox um, APC that uh, when you drive the little guy, it, like spins around. Uh, not like real fast, but like every so many f inches of space, you roll it forward. He turns like a quarter turn. But I remember having that as a kid. And then, of course, I had this set. But the one I had also had the uh, Roscoe's uh, patrol car and Cooter's truck with it. I'm pretty sure that was the five pack. Um, okay, and then we have this little back here behind Vincent and um, Tweaky. This is a, uh, I believe this is Mattel, or maybe it was Play School. But this is a little wooden train, and I did have this is actually from my youth, uh, being a little baby boy um, here. This uh, train, um, I think it had a track and a station, and it might have had another car. I've got a little flatbed truck that goes with it, but it's outside in uh, my uh, building i've got a small it's still in disarray from my move <laughs> uh and then there's gizmo um the little pvc pretty cool cute character i hear they might be making an animated series of gremlins so that's going to be interesting all right second shelf in the very back you can probably read that's a set of muscle figures that's number four the cosmic showdown pretty cool set uh coming forward the, there's a strong heart i believe his name is and War Duke from Dungeons and Dragons. A friend of mine is going to hook me up pretty soon with the shield and sword for War Duke here. And I think his his sword I just dropped somewhere out in my building. So I just need to track it down. Then this is a really cool, uh, I believe it's just a 3D printed, uh, but it glows in the dark, uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. And, uh, you know, revenge creature. And that's where revenge of the creature is where I got my little screen name so there's that mystery solved in case you were mat locking it um okay and then so then these are some hot wheels vintage um this is from the set that <clears throat> came with a booklet it was a three pack uh back in i, I can't remember what year it was it's 81 maybe 80 82 at the latest anyway and there was um the mustang and the airport fire truck and then a chevy citation a red chevy citation don't have that yet, but I have two of the three. And I need to get a better re fireport, uh, airport rescue fire truck because of the entire tampo. Whoops, I'm messing stuff up. The entire tampos were off both sides. Uh, that's really cool. Um, I never had that as a kid, this particular Hot Wheels truck, Jeep brother, but um, I really dig the colors on it, so I picked that up. Um, then we have the A Team van. Um, I've had that since I was a little kid. That's pretty cool. Uh, then we want to go over here to the Little People, uh, Little People Tractor. It's missing its sticker. Then it's a couple of Little People. Got the little dog. I was always a huge fan of that dog. Then um, this is an actual from my youth. This is actually from my sister's uh, toys, um, the bigger, chunky Fisher-Price guy. Had a little red boat, too. I'd love to find that sometime. Um, and then a uh, 60s Batmobile. And then this little guy's... Um, <clears throat> Like I got that one went to Florida one year. I think it was 1980, 79 or 80. Um, it was before Empire Strikes Back came out because I found IG-88 at a Kmart down there in Jacksonville, Florida. But anyway, I got this little guy at a rest stop. I just thought he was so cool, so cute. He's a little orange-headed bird. And now it's, uh, Disney owns him, so that's interesting. Uh, this is one of the pullback racers that McDonald's offered. Um, I, I forget what year this is, but, you know, it's – Pre-85, I'm almost sure. 
A uh, sealed pack of alien trading cards there. They're still sealed. Um, and this little dude, poor baby. Here we go. Turn a little Grogu around. Now, this is a modern set of figures, obviously. This is fairly recent. These just came out. Um, like most people, I'm a huge fan of the Mandalorian series and baby Grogu. And uh, I had to have this set. He came with a speeder bike, but I put the speeder bike somewhere else. Um, so that's really cute. Um, then let's go over here some more. We've got a Shockwave from the Robot Heroes line that Hasbro did. These are just kind of like kawaii versions, little super SD versions of uh, Transformers characters. Um, sealed Black Hole, Sealed Tron, both great Disney movies uh, of my youth. Uh, Black Hole is so uh, underrated. It's slow and very uh, academic, but... Uh, it's still, to me, a very enjoyable film. Um, then we've got uh, this little blue bear. It was a counting bear. I remember we had these in first grade, and I took one from the school. Um, I just thought they were so freaking cute. And they came in uh, blue, red, green, yellow, I guess, primary colors. Uh, and, you know, you'd put, like, five, take away one is what? You know, that's how we learned in preschool, first grade, whatever. Um, then a battle beast. This isn't one I had, but uh, it's one I acquired, so... Uh, one for one. Then we have the Tonka uh, military dude back there. Um, he came in, in a set that uh, I had a long, you know, I got in, I guess in the year G.I. Joe came out, like I want to say it was 82. And he came with a couple of tents and another guy and some crates and stuff. And they didn't have a truck with it or anything, but it was a Tonka set. It was pretty cool. Uh, I've been looking for a box example on eBay ever since. Every once in a while you'll see the guy or you'll come across one of the crates, but then there's just this cool ceramic Pac-Man that I've had forever. Um, I, I don't remember what year I got that, but I've had that thing for decades. A uh, really cool little thing. Um, then my Agent Cooper bobblehead uh, from Twin Peaks. I'm a huge Twin Peaks fan, in case you didn't know. Back there we have a Dr. Pepper can. That's just a vintage Dr. Pepper can. That's my favorite soda. Um, we have a Mego Spock which I never had the pleasure of owning any Mego figures as a kid, but uh, as soon as I saw this guy, he was complete. I just, I had to grab it. I just think he's too cool. Um, and of course, who doesn't love Leonard Nimoy? There's an Odyssey 2 cartridge. That's the pack-in cartridge for that system by Magnavox. We had that when I was a kid, so um, I just picked this up for a buck or two maybe recently. Um, then the, we have the Star Wars Cantina Alien bobbleheads, or they're Funko Pops, I'm sorry. Uh, based on the old Kenner designs. And then Rachel's a big Halo fan, so I've got the little Halo dude back there for her. And pulling out a little bit further, we've got a uh, Zentradi figure from the Matchbox Robotech line. Big Robotech slash Macross fan. Um, Stomper Tank. Now, this uh, came in the box set. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head, but it was like a long track with a couple of hills and came with army men and stuff. I got that the same Christmas that I got the Tonka dude and a Tonka set. So that was really, really cool. And I've still got the box and the, all the tracks and all that, the army men and everything. Yep, guys, obviously very anime inspired. Uh, it's probably a mummy of some sort with like little kawaii eyes. Um, but I got that at a flea market years and years ago, um, just for like a nickel or something back when things were a quarter at flea markets instead of being, you know, now you'd probably somebody want like three or four dollars for that. This is one of the McDonald's Stompers. Uh, it's not actually battery-powered, but uh, it looks like one of the cars, and it's more just like a big Hot Wheels. Uh, I can't remember. I don't think this is one that I had. The one I had was a little truck. Uh, maybe it was a purple truck. Um, then we've got a Tootsie Toy uh, car. I, I used to get these uh, probably once every month. I'd get a pack, maybe more often than that. But they used to come in blister packs, uh, there'd be like, I don't know, maybe a dozen of them on there or 10 of them on there. And they'd be at the grocery store and mom would just, you know, it's one of those things your parents would just give you to, to hush you up. Uh, this Bible I got when I was real little, um, and, uh, you know, I've had it ever since. Um, and that's kind of interesting. Some of the little notes and stuff that are in there, I'm not going to pull it out, uh, to show you know right now but maybe i'll go through it later just interesting little things i've jotted down you know through the years as a kid growing up going to church um in the background there there's a tonka little tonka crane um i did have that as a kid 
Um, it's a pretty cool little piece. We've got my sister had um, Keith here from Voltron. Um, I've got the key came with. I just need the helmet for, to complete that figure. But that's the only Voltron figure I've got. Um, I want to get the blue row beast. I think he's really cool. And that's the one my sister had. She had Keith and she had that row beast and that was it. And I was always really jealous. So I think I ended up taking the row beast for some, at some point and just putting it in my own toys. You know how big brothers are. Uh, this knight is from Dragon Riders of the Sticks. Pretty cool. Uh, just, you know, not a lot of detail to him, but, uh, you know, it's another one of those grocery store figures that I got. It's always thought it was interesting. They had jointed knees. A couple of Monopoly pieces here, uh, a little Cracker Barrel or Rest Stop uh, Globe that's a pencil sharpener, um, and then I've got a cassette here, Sertron cassettes. I used so many of these as a kid. I was obsessed with recording stuff. Of course, I don't have any of it, and people like, you know, uh, like Weird Paul, for example, you know, I mean, he knew to hang on to this stuff. I wish I'd just been more responsible. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, that's why I really get a kick out of watching his old videos and stuff because we had a bunch of those, but I just, over the years lost them because you wouldn't think how nostalgic you would become, but it happens. Some more unopened packs of cards, uh, some, you know, Batman Returns, Simpsons, Growing Pains and Dune, which Dune, you know, anytime you find Dune merchandise, that's just a trip to me. So there's that shelf. I believe I covered everything there. Yeah. I'm going to focus a little bit better, gang. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, yep. Yeah. So there's that shelf. All right, next, um, let's go down here to this shelf. Now, this is the He-Man area. Uh, it's just temporary. For Christmas, I had to move the He-Man stuff in here so we could put up our little tree and stuff. But um, the vintage He-Man, Battle Cat, and a vintage Skeletor. Um, all the other, the, this Skeletor that's unopened and uh, the Prince Adam, this thing he's riding on, um, Men in Arms, Many Faces, all these and the Battle Cat and Tila, that's from the New Origins line, which I absolutely love. I think Mattel has really nailed it with this. The price range is great. Our, the figures are amazing. The, um, I would say this Many Faces back there is probably one of my favorite toys I've gotten this year. The fact that you can turn the bucket, the head, and still turn the faces is just so amazing. These are some, uh, that's a pop of Trap Jaw. I can't wait till he comes out. Walmart's exclusivity runs out tonight at midnight. I'll be watching for Big Bad Toy Store to put up pre orders for Trap Jaw, the Castle Grey Skull. It's going to be great. Uh, I've got a vinyl, and I thought, I, oh, there's another vinyl I've got. It's a vinyl of uh, Trap Jaw there. He's my favorite villain. A uh, little He-Man. And then these, I just absolutely love these. These are the Mega Constructs. Um, I can't think of what this thing is called. But I had to have it because it came with Merman. He's one of my favorite villains. Got that Prince Adam with the Wind Raider. Rachel put that together for me because she's awesome. Um, this is the Battle Army He-Man. And Battle Cat, that came with... I can't think of what that's called. There's no Blockbuster... Uh, rewind sticker off the spine of the video. Uh, worked at Blockbuster from 2000 to about 2000 or wait. I can't remember the dates, but I worked there. Wolco, that's the um, like an old department store I grew up with. You know, think of like early Walmart kind of place. Had a grill, you know, a restaurant and everything. A shoehorn from there, and that thing's from probably the 70s. Uh, my old KB uh, associate tag when I worked at KB, um, lead sales associate. It's just like between manager, uh, between assistant manager and regular employee. Uh, Rubik's Cube, uh, not the one I had as a kid, but I had to get one. I don't even know if that's a real le legit Rubik's Cube, but uh, I remember you know, struggling with math at one point in, I think it was fifth grade when these came out. And then uh, mom had bought one and I did well on a test and she said, go look in your desk. And there was a Rubik's cube and oh, so cool. Down here is some Batman. Cause I was obsessed, obsessed with this movie when it came out. I can't even tell you how many times I saw it 21 times in the theater. Um, but here's a bat hero. That's one of those cool knockoff toys you see occasionally. Um, there's also a Robert cop. It's part of this series. I'd love to find a Robert Cop someday. Um, but then there's the Carded Batman's uh, Joker, Carded Batman, uh, my original VHS Batman from way back in, uh, I guess it came out in 89 or was it 90 when it came out on home video? That and Roger Rabbit. Um, 
box of Batman cereal. It's just the box. Don't worry, folks. The cereal is gone to wherever good cereal goes. Um, Taco Bell Batman cup. Uh, unopened pack of Batman cards. The Danny Elfman soundtrack. One of my favorite orchestral uh, pieces of music. And then my Batmobiles. Um, I don't know what all these are. What you know? What these are from? Every necessarily every one of them. A lot of them are Hot Wheels. That's probably Micro Machine. One of these is a little held candy, but I think that's actually from Batman uh, Returns. Um, and then there's the McDonald's Happy Meal. And let's see. This these two are original Ertl, um from the 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 eighty nine release. Um, and this weird blue one and this weird chrome one are just variations um, that Hot Wheels have done. Uh, and then I have a Batman laser disc, so that's really righteous. Um, then I got a couple of the reissue Transformers. I'm not going to be you know one of these slick people and just kind of casually go, oh, I've got you know G1 guys carded. Um, those are just you know the recent re-releases -re through Walmart. I think they look cool, and looking at them through this viewfinder, I can tell you they look pretty you know pretty legit. Um, then we have another great thing that 2020 brought us, which was the GI Joe Classified series, Scarlet, the Amazon exclusive Storm Shadow, and the Cobra Commander. Um, this series was I was worried about. And then it turns out um, the worst thing about them is the distribution. Also, I'm, I've, I've got every one of them except for Red Ninja and a couple of the more exclusive variations. Uh, but I do have this variant, this crazy uh, profit director, a.k.a. Pimp Daddy Destro, uh, with his flaming wad of cash uh, and sunglasses. I mean, just what a, what a crazy design and... Um, you know, I'm glad they went for it and decided to go ahead and release it. I mean, that's just a wild figure. Um, and then in the retro series, they re-released the His Tank uh, with Retool Driver and the All Striker with a new version of Crankcase. Um, both of those are from the Walmart retro series. Uh, and they, of course, they look great in the boxes, but uh, uh, it's just I didn't have an All Striker for my Joe collection anyway and who doesn't love his tank so i thought i'd go ahead and display those guys and then the boxes are on display out in my building and uh the last item in this case is this crazy thing the um skull tank from voltron um got that's something i picked up this year um and i love this this thing is just nuts um, i know it's missing a clear dome and the stickers need some work um, but just a really cool piece and I got it for a really good price. So I had to have it, thought I'd throw it in the archive and then, um, I did. So that's, that's where that happened. So there you go, folks. There's a quick look at that one cabinet, uh, in the archive. Um, and you can expect more tours of different cabinets as the uh, days progress. Uh, I'm really looking forward to continue to getting back to making videos on a regular basis. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, all that good stuff. Be well, and Osquinoxo.